uh, we're not, we ourselves are not going to be in any danger, but, but it'll, you know, kind of stop the horde night. Thanks for the bag. Look at that, man. We got a purple. Yeah, we got thumped a little bit, but I had to go out and, and repair that or we, we would have been in trouble. Welcome back, everybody, to 70s and 9, Alpha 21. It is Horde at night 14, and we are ready to rock and roll. I made a, a small change to the Horde base here. I basically created a return, so that way if they fall down onto the shelf, they can come back up again. And um, otherwise, I uh, haven't really made any other changes. Um, I didn't get around to installing torches on this on the stairway here, unfortunately. Um, I have to try and remember to do that next time. So we're going to just stay perched up here until we see them actually start coming up the stairs and back there. Yeah, they're starting to run down there, so I'm sure that uh, they will start coming up the stairs here pretty quick, and then we will go inside and do our thing. Here they come. Okay. So I'm hoping that uh, we'll have a better turnout tonight than we did on 7, which I'm expecting we should because, you know, it's uh, 14 instead of 7. Let's get that closed, too. Uh, I've got 10 Molotovs, 13 Pipe Bombs, uh, the usual meds, stuff to repair, and uh, yeah, so we should be in good shape. We're mostly going to melee, though, with the spear. Uh, we do have two points to spend as well, um, and we're just cranking intellect with those. And so the next point that we get, we'll be able to then put into a Tinkerer for Advanced Engineering. Okay, so let's hope for a successful and fun Horde Night. We should be getting up here pretty soon. All right, here comes Bo. i got to remember not to... To stand too close here because um, I don't need to stand as close as I think I do, and then they'll, you know, they'll whack me otherwise. So so far, what what are you doing, Edgar? So far, we got a, a pretty good turnout here. We have to kidney shot him because we can't get to his head. I am also wearing my light armor because um, you know. As long as we don't get too close, we're not going to get hit, and I want, you know, the stamina. So, look at that. Let's grab that real quick. Nice. Okay. That is the one thing I really like about the spears. It's got some reach, baby. So, if they could just kind of keep coming in a, in a steady stream like this for the whole night, uh, we, should, uh, we should get another level, I would think. We started off with maybe, I don't know, probably less than 10%. I wonder why they're doing that. I don't know, it's kind of irritating. All right, let me stop doing it now. It's time to get my bow out. Again, nope, that isn't going to work. That's not going to fly, baby. Coming up here, formerly known as Spider Zombie. And, of course, we can pack a lot better punch now than we did on Horde Night 7 too. so we'll kill faster. The faster we kill, the more waves come, the more hordes we get, the more XP we get, etc., etc. Um, however, usually, at least the way that was in Alpha 20, the hordes will still usually run out on 14 and maybe even 21. And then when you start getting a little higher than that, though, uh, they, they pretty much start coming nonstop for the whole night. Okay, so we got more coming up. Uh, incidentally, just kind of funny, I got a real life... A uh, thunderstorm going on outside the house here, and uh, and we got thunder from the horde bunk too, so it's kind of funny. Hey, Arlene, how come you didn't fall down those open hatches? Okay, good. So, spider monkey dude fell down and he's coming back on the return so that's working stop doing that 
What the frick, man? Edgar? At least they don't, like, sit there and do it perpetually. They do it a couple of times and then they decide to come over here. The downside, of course, is I can't repair it all the way out there. Well, actually, you know what? I wonder if I could reach it, you know, when I have a moment to, to try. Let's see. Can I actually... Nope, I can't quite get out there. But what we could do, if we have a lull, if we have enough time, feel like we have enough time, we could just... Whoa, shit. Uh, we could just run out there and try and repair it. That could be... Yeah, that could be a, a consideration for later hordes when we have a non-stop wave coming. Or waves coming, right? Um, I have to give that some thought. Because, you know, at that point, well, it'll probably be steel, but we still need to be able to repair it. Nice. 762. Hey, we're getting some good Lutskis from this, too, man. Can't complain about that. Forty percent on the way to the next level, which is great. I want to start um, after we get Tinkerer. I'm probably going to take a side step from from um, intellect and start working on handguns uh, because I mentioned at the towards the start of this series. Uh, I want to give handguns a good solid run. I've, there, it's always been something... Oh, shit. That block is... Yeah. That could be a problem. Yeah, we'll see how things go. I mean, if they, if they break it... Uh, we're not... We ourselves are not going to be in any danger, but... But it'll, you know, kind of stop the horde night. Bag. Look at that, man. We got a purple. Okay. Yeah, we got thumped a little bit, but I had to go out and, and repair that or we, we would have been in trouble. Not danger, but in trouble with the base malfunction and not getting all this wonderful XP and loot drops. Hold still. There you go. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how we're going to handle the repairing of that in the later hordes. We'll have to give that some thought. Because, you know, I can run out there really quick on day 14 and do something like that, but not on day 108, you know. <laughs> whatever, whatever it happens to be. Look at the drops, man. It's beautiful. Take it. Let's, have, let's do another one of these. Okay, we got... Uh, well, Marlene was doing the hit thing, but she's not now, so... There we go. This is great, man. It's working so well. Uh, aside from the little potential repair challenge that we're going to have to figure out. I mean, maybe what I'll have to do is create some kind of access out there that only I can, like a tunnel or something. 
Alright, let's uh, light these girls up. And while they're being lit up, I'm gonna have some bacon and eggs. And we're gonna have some red tea. Oh, look at that! We got a, a purple uh, stone axe. If we're still using the stone axe, that's an upgrade. a matter of trying to predict where they're going to bob their head so we can thump them. Nice. Okay, we are about 85% to the next level now. coming up. I wonder if the nail gun or even the hammer could reach that far. I mean, the nail gun can actually reach quite a ways out. I don't know. Alright. Somebody else is banging on something, but let's, uh, Give this a, a quick touch up. Oh, look at you, Arlene. What are you doing down there? That's the wrong place for you to be, my friend. You just fell down. Okay, so we got. Looks like a jiggly coming up here. Get back up here. Let's make sure this is in good shape. Here's to be. That took a bit of a hit too. I mean, this. if we continue doing this, this whole front here will eventually be upgraded to steel. Concrete, next, and then steel. Nice. They're still coming. We haven't killed them all yet. close to the next level. Come on, Nurse Nancy. Very good. Those are the, uh, no, those aren't the one, the shoes that make us go faster. I wonder if they, did they get rid of those? Okay, what are the hit points on this? It's still 1,200. Hmm, that's weird. <laughs> Darlene rode up on Edgar's head there. Edgar, have a spear in your butt. that last skill point. Fantastic.
Okay, we got a bow coming up. Back up a little more. All right, we're going to put this into advanced engineering. And then, like I said, we're probably going to take a bit of a sidestep from intellect. We will come back to it. And I'd like to put a point or two into handguns, too. I started using the, the handgun for hunting rabbits and chickens, too, just because the ammo is a lot cheaper. And it seems to work nearly as good. Do a little bit of quick repairing here. Got a janitor down there. Come on up, bro. <laughs> oh shit! That was close. Don't be doing that, man. You scared me. Right, let's run down here really quick while we have a second. Oh, they haven't done any damage to any of this. Okay, that's good. That's all looking good in the neighborhood. We got a little chunk piece there that needs some attention. I hear some zombos banging on something. But I'm starting to think maybe we've killed the horde. There are probably some zombies that, that maybe fell inside the cathedral and can't get out. There's something going on down there. Well, that's a deer. <laughs> okay. Yeah, aside from the Zeeks that probably fell inside of the cathedral, I'm going to say we probably killed the horde. 14. I hear them, but I don't see them down there. Okay, so let's think about how would we be able to re keep this repaired in later hordes. I, I don't know. I don't know if we can, actually. I'm not sure how we would do that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really sure how we, how we would accomplish that. And a little bit of minor damage on the floor here. Let's get this topped off. Sounds like the zombos that were trapped inside have gotten out. Oh. I don't want that there. Hmm. That's interesting that they're coming up that way. Oh, you know what? I forgot to. I forgot to pull the hatches up there. This may be the the tail end of them for. Night 14 here. Still hear him banging though. At least I thought I did.
Oh, look at that. They've taken that ladder, uh, part of that ladder out. Booty rants. Hmm. Did they maybe get stuck over on this side? Or maybe they spawned on the roof or something? I don't know. I busted the, the beam that leads across from that side, but... Okay. I should probably actually try and secure this a little bit better over here. How much cobblestone do I have left? 68. Yeah, we're going to need need to make some more cobblestone. Let's break this. Zombo jumping around down there. Ronnie McDonnie. That should not be seen as a path now by the AI out here. Okay, I think the Horde Night's over, guys. And uh, it was pretty successful, all things considered. We managed to get ourselves a another level out of the deal, and uh, quite a few loot drops too. You know, I'll complain about that. There was something over here. Oh wait, I still see that deer is still hanging out down there. I don't want to kill it right now though, because if there are any Zeeks left down there, they'll go eat it. Actually, I don't think there are. It's 3.15, so we have 45 minutes. That needs a little attention there. The other nice thing about my little return there is if I did ever happen to fall off this, then I won't uh, go all the way down. Oh, I hear a Zeke. Yep, here comes a Zeke. Look at that. We got another customer. Come say hi. Ooh, it's a soldier, Zeke. Where are you going, man? Cut that out. Get over here. <laughs> he fell down. Hopefully he can come back on the return. Yeah, there he is. He's probably not a horde zombie, though. I think he's probably just a normal Zeke that was around. Oh, look at that, man. 787 XP, and we popped him. Nice. So he was hitting on this. Okay, well, I think we're done. If that deer is still around down there, we'll see if we can pop it. But 
it's pretty nice and quiet right now. You know, we could actually store stuff in there later on if we needed to. Let's touch that up. It's weird that turned to a brick texture. It didn't make it any stronger. So. Okay. Fortnite 14 is in the bag, ladies and gentlemen. Is that deer still around? Yeah, I don't see it. It's probably long gone by now. I wonder if they, um... Oh, look at that. They breached the cathedral. Are there any bombos in here? They even busted the ladder there. Okay. Well, that's fine. I, I, I'd actually prefer to have them be able to get out of the cathedral so they can cycle back up to us. Anyway, so that's good. It's not a bad situation at all. Same here, too. Yep, they found a way to break out of there. Oh, there's the deer. Didn't even notice it was there. I don't have my hunting rifle on me. Look at that shot. We should have our, our blade on slow. Okay, guys. Well, um, I think we're going to wrap this one up here because there's this is just kind of a good stopping point. Uh, so the plan for... Uh, the next episode is probably to get back going on. Yeah, we we just need to get up to about five thousand and a uh, fifty one hundred or something like that, and then we can get that bow from Trader Hugh. So I think what we'll do is um, we'll just keep working some trader quests in the next episode, uh, with the goal in mind of of getting that bow. I think. Um, oh man, I don't remember when he reset though so if he did reset then you know he reset it's not the end of the world but hopefully he didn't and um otherwise we got uh, we got a nice little stone axe upgrade here with four slots in it if we you know eventually come across some other things Repair that. I think I'll actually hang on to the the blue axe just as a little backup if we need it. And uh, let's get our hunting rifle back in here. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna, so I think I'll let you guys go here. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.